Azerbaijan, <laughs> we're coming! Stamped in, baby! Yoo! The next day. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to our World Guinness <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Baku in Azerbaijan and today we're gonna go collect Bumblebee from the ferry port. So we just jumped in a taxi here from a local service called Bolt. And this is our taxi driver. <laughs> and it says on the GPS that the ferry port is uh, just over an hour away. So in one hour, we're going to be reunited with Bumblebee. So the ferry port in Baku is actually not in the city. It's an hour down the coast next to a small town called Alat. So that's where we're headed. We are really excited to see Bumblebee again. So better hit the road. Let's go. That right there is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of the city, the Maiden Tower, as part of Baku's Old City. It's a really beautiful city. Soksaol! Soksaol! Yes, we've arrived. We've just given the guys here in the window our documentation. So now they're looking up on the system to see if they can find Bumblebee. He was asking us what the name of the ship that Bumblebee was shipped on. And I was like, I have no idea the name of the ship. After he looked it up, he told us it was Azerbaijan. Could have guessed that. What is written here? Bill of lading. <laughs> oh my god. Remember that from Brazil? Bill of lading. Oh, bill of lading. I hate shipping, I tell you. Yeah, so we got our ticket now and now we have to go through the security and then pick a bumblebee. So I can wait in this waiting room here. Ollie just went out and tried to rescue bumblebee and let's see how long it takes. Every visitor should remember the following. Don't enter areas where cargo handling operations are in. Don't enter premises where entry is prohibited. Manat. Uh, Manat. Thank you. Thank you. So, customs process is done, and I've also just purchased the mandatory insurance for Azerbaijan. So basically, they said you can just go in, get Bumblebee. Apparently, the keys are still on the bike, so I'm just walking around. And I've got to try to find Bumblebee and then I'm ready to drive out. So far the process has taken about an hour and a half so it's nearly midday now so not too bad if I can just drive out now then we'll be all good ready to hit the roads of Azerbaijan. It's a pretty big place but the good thing is that we've got the SysApp tracker inside Bumblebee. So I can just go on the app and I can see exactly where Bumblebee is. So at the moment, I'm just basically heading towards that point. Bumblebee can't hide from me. I'm coming. I'm coming, Bumblebee! But it's a little bit nerve wracking, to be honest, because I read reports on iOverlander that this port is notorious for people stealing stuff from the vehicles whilst they're waiting to be collected and Bumblebee has been here in the port for a week. I don't know if you guys saw the previous episode where we dropped Bumblebee off, but this is what she looked like. There we go. So not very secure really, to be honest. Hello. Hi. Yeah, for? Uh, England. Hello. England, yes. Uh, collection motorcycle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And keep in mind that those bags and panniers and everything, None of that is locked on. You can literally just take it off and walk out. So it's a little bit nerve wracking. Anyway, I can see Bumblebee up ahead. Let's see how she looks. I 
think everything's there. One pannier, one box, two helmets, spider web, tank bag. Yeah, it looks like everything is here, which is amazing. So they said the keys would be in the ignition, but they're not, so... I think I'm gonna go to the office and see if I can get the keys. Yes! Wow, it's now 1.30, so Oli has been away for two hours now. I have no idea what takes so long, but I'm just sitting here on the couch and waiting patiently. Luckily, this room has air conditioning, so that's pretty good. Security guy just called me. Ah! <laughs> it's there. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, Azerbaijani police. <laughs> goodbye to Alat Ferry Port. Oh, goodbye, it was a nice time here. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are finally out. Bumblebee is free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, that was a bit of a process, I can tell you. It's now 3.40. I think we arrived here at about 10.30. So it's taken us five hours to get Bumblebee free of the port. That's absolutely insane. It was like I had to go to one window, I had to get the customs, I had to go to Bumblebee and then I had to go to another window and get some more documentation done and it was just endless. But unfortunately I couldn't film most of it because when I was watching the induction film, which I filmed the induction film and then it was like no unauthorized videos be to be taken and I was like whoops I'm actually like filming now. Yeah it was pretty insane with the filming, they were really honored like as soon as they saw me like with the phone or with the camera they came like towards me and said like no camera no filming i just managed to get in like one little vlog whilst i was walking through like the open port area where there was like no one around so in total i paid 25 mana for the mandatory insurance for Azerbaijan, which is about 13 pounds. The temporary import permit and all of the customs process was free, but then I had to pay around $20 to exit the port. And then just at the last minute before I went through the barrier, they were like, oh, and it's 10 US dollars per day for every day the bike has been inside the port. So that turned out to be $60. So in total, around a hundred US dollars for everything included. Actually, the bit that took the most time and the bit that was the most difficult was actually the drones again. Can you believe it? At first, they were basically like, do you have any drones? And I was like, yeah, I have drones. And then they were like, you're not allowed drones. So I looked up online and I said to them, there should be no restrictions on drones. It should be absolutely fine. I read like the Azerbaijan government advice on the on drones. And the advice was that if you wanted to operate a drone, you needed to obtain a license. You needed permission in order to fly a drone. So I said to them, no, no, you just need permission to fly the drone. I don't need permission to bring the drone in. Look, I'm not gonna fly it. Just let me bring the drones in. And then they were like for ages calling people back and forth off like mm, not sure eventually they said to me okay you can keep the drone but we have to like put a customs seal on it and basically they took some wire and they like completely closed our drone box and put like a sticker over it so that you know if i open it they're gonna see that i've opened it they said when i leave azerbaijan i have to show them the declaration and then show them that the drone bag hasn't been opened and therefore the drone hasn't been used yeah wow well, it took so long but anyway at the end we made it through and bumblebee is here and we can explore azerbaijan despite the time we're still going to try to squeeze in a little azerbaijani attraction on our first day riding in the country so let me show you guys where we're headed so we are here and today we are heading up to Kobustan and then taking this road towards the Mud Volcano Tourist Park somewhere around here.
Yes, just eight miles away from here is a super cool area with some mud volcanoes, which I've never seen before in my life. So that's going to be super cool. But I'll tell you guys more about them when we get there. Mud Volcanoes Tourism Complex, 19 kilometers straight. So this area, Gobustan, is also famous for ancient rock carvings and ancient cave art. So apparently around this area they have more than 6,000 pieces of prehistoric art dotted all over the landscape here. Wow, and they dating back to? 40,000 years. So like really, really, really early human art. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. really out in the Azerbaijani desert now. Look at this. It looks so cool here. And I'm so glad that the government just put this road here in. So the road is perfect and you can really enjoy the views. Yeah, I think up until this year, this was just a dirt road and you, you had to get a four wheel drive Jeep from the Gobostan town in order to visit the mud volcanoes. But now there's this really nice road here so we can just ride all the way up to them. I don't know what a mud volcano is. Something with mud and there eruptions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out, hey, we'll find out. Okay, so I think this is like the new tourism complex they're building. Wow. But it definitely doesn't look like it's finished. No. <laughs> so. Oh my oh. lord. Whew. Dog jumping out. Okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. If that's the tourism complex, then where are the mud volcanoes? Good question. Are they over there, maybe? You think this one there? Bye, Bubble Bee. So apparently. The guys pointed this way, the guys who were working on the construction site here, and they were like, go this way. So we're going to go this way, see if we can find some mud volcanoes over here. Anyway, we decided to go with our full outfit here because it's mad windy. Feel like an astronaut. Me too. <laughs> Walking on the moon. Look, they're building like a, a walkway through this whole area, but here they are. Yeah. Right in front of us. Look here. Show me some mud. Look at that. Okay, let's go have a look. Salam. Salam. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. What the hell? I wonder if we can touch it or not. Wow. Look. <laughs> look, they have like one, two, three, four. That's so cool. I'm going to translate to the guy, is the mud hot? No, not hot. <laughs> no way. Whoa. <laughs> Sweetheart, what are you doing? This is like some free, really expensive skincare routine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a river of mud. Wow, look at this one. There's like literally mud bubbling up from everywhere. That's crazy. Look, there's another one here. 
Whoa, that's so cool. So apparently I read that Azerbaijan has the most mud volcanoes of any country in the whole world. They have 350 out of 700 mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan. And so I googled like what is a mud volcano and apparently it's like deep in the earth water gets heated up and that water is mixing with all of like the minerals and rocks as it's coming up through like fissures and cracks in the earth and eventually it gets up to the surface through a fault line and just kind of bubbles out and there's also gas in there as well which is what you can see here there you go so when you see it bubbling like this that is actually methane gas coming out of the earth and apparently if you light it it will light on fire and it's really interesting because actually the name Azerbaijan means land of the holy fire. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> you look like you're walking on another planet. Okay. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Oli Levy. Yes. 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 I have a a card for our YouTube channel. Thank you. Yeah. Give us your card now. We will follow your channel. Yes, please do. There's. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please follow. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Married in Las Vegas. Oh. We. You went there by bike. Uh, yes. Oh. How long are you in the door? We started one, one, one and a half years ago. One and a half years. Yes. All the best. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come to India. We come to India next year. You are loading on this every day. Every day ride is on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. You have to uh, subscribe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Is with the bike. <laughs> India, 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 India. India. <laughs> Germany, England. <laughs> See you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh oh, the doggies. <laughs> That was so funny that like a whole massive Indian tour group just arrived when we were there. They are so friendly and so interested and jumping on the bike, taking photo shoots. It's like yeah, they were doing that when we weren't even there. <laughs> so cool. I love it. The fact that every single person came up to me, shook my hand and was like, I wish you all the best for your trip. And then they gave us like a big clapping as well. Like everybody clapped for us. <laughs> it's so kind, hey? Yeah, and really nice. And people are really supportive. But there we go. That's what mud volcanoes look like. Amazing. What a nice surprise, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's like you live your whole life not knowing anything about mud volcanoes, not even knowing that mud volcanoes exist. And yeah. then suddenly you end up in the country of mud volcanoes. <laughs> and they were really, really cool, actually. Yeah, and some of them were really, really big. So now we're going to head back into Gobistan and see if we can find a bite to eat because I am starving. Starving! Starving! Yeah, bread and cheese is not enough anymore. We just stopped here at this cafe to see if we could get some food, but they only have fried chicken. But look at all these kids around. Say bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> bye guys. Bye. And look, I gave everybody one of our cards. Everybody has to subscribe. Abonner. Yes. Thank you. Talk Saul.
Ready? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> careful, careful! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> wow, that's so cute! Unbelievable! Now they're all running after us! <laughs> Are they all running after us? <laughs> cute, really cute. Really cute. But anyway, no food for us there. So we have now booked a room on booking.com which is 19 miles ahead 25 minutes away and apparently they have a restaurant there at the hotel so i'll have to wait a little bit longer we have now a load of young new subscribers <laughs> yes we're getting subscribed by the next generation Good. <laughs> so the accommodation is supposed to be just like half a mile down here yeah but it seems like a really strange area here <laughs> it's like really industrial yes so many kids running around hello <laughs> oh yeah look montenegro inn <laughs> how random <laughs> this is such a random area <laughs> look it's just like an industrial area with yeah. warehouses and stuff and then suddenly there's like a little pop-up hotel here yeah let's see if they have a restaurant otherwise oh we have some noodles otherwise we have some noodles it's not this the most exciting thing anymore but <laughs> what is this place no idea crazy but there's actually a swimming pool here in the middle oh, look yeah. all right let's see if they have a room that we've booked and let's also see if they have a restaurant yeah really looks like an abandoned place look at this ah uh, reception uh, from england thank you <laughs> Yes. Amazing. This is apparently the national dish. I don't know the name, but it's stuffed peppers. What is the name for the national dish? This one? Dolma. 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 pepper. And internal beef. Yeah. And this is the national dish, Azerbaijan. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. What's your name? Uh, Assad. Assad. Yeah. And your name? Faik. Faik. This is Zaw. Zaw. Zaw, yes. <laughs> hello. hello, hello. Thank you so much for your help. Not at all. And your English is very good. No, no. Yes, it's my English is very bad. Your English is very good. This English good. Yes. This English is good. <laughs> very bad. Good night. Okay, good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! Happy and alive! Woo. Yeah, this turned out to be an awesome place and we just had a beautiful dinner. The feeling was like having a home-cooked meal, you know? Well, you don't have a choice, but you really like it. So that was really cool. But anyway, I'm super, super happy that we have Bumblebee back. We had a really nice first day here in Azerbaijan, seeing these amazing mud pools. Oh my God, like crazy. So I can't wait to hit the road tomorrow again and explore more of this country. And as well, you know, being now on our way back, actually, without any big challenges anymore. We just have three countries. And then we're in Europe. <laughs> and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.